It's been a long time that people have been suffering from itchy feet, longing to travel and see the world. But with the pandemic shutting cities down and new strains of the virus scaring people stiff at their front doors, where can we go and feel safe? I'd like to welcome back travel expert Janine Tornator. It's so good to see you again. It's great to be here. Well, tell us, you know, the last time you came on, it was all about kind of taking road trips near home. So you were kind enough to tell us about some of the wonderful places right here in South Carolina that people can see. But, you know, a lot of people want to go beyond their state. They want to go beyond their country's borders. So so is there a safe place to go? Well, you know, what we're seeing, I think, as we get into 2021 and now that, you know, vaccines are on the horizon, um, is that people aren't just looking at where can I go right now in the next couple of months. People are actually back to kind of planning those bigger trips, thinking a little farther into the future about, you know, when borders do open back up, where can I go? What can I get back off of my bucket list that I want to go? So I think that that type of planning, you know, the there's a lot of pent up demand that's expected to, I think, kind of really uh, bust open as we get closer to summer and especially um, the second half of the year. Right. I'm surprised to see so many commercials for cruise lines. You know, one thing that we're seeing, I think, across the board, cruise lines included, hotels, major destinations, is that a lot of these suppliers still continue to have very flexible change and cancellation policies. So even people that are looking out at the second half of this year, whether it's a cruise or a major uh, resort they want to go to, can still feel comfortable in booking those. And people are starting to book those because they are looking at those change and cancellation policies and seeing that they are still able, in most cases, to make those changes should they not feel comfortable when that time comes. What are we hearing from the airlines? So people want to board a flight. Uh, how, how is that working these days? Yeah, I mean, we are seeing, you know, an uptick in air travel and people are starting to feel more comfortable, especially as those, uh, you know, safety procedures have really ramped up over the last several months. And we've seen that there haven't been any, you know, major, uh, you know, spreading of the virus via plane travel. So I think people are getting more comfortable with that. You know, we are still seeing a lot of road trips planned for this, you know, first half of the year. But again, I think those those change and cancellation policies with the major airlines are still very flexible as well. So people are looking at summer 2021 and saying, I am going to want to travel. I'm going to make these plans now and book these uh, travel suppliers now. Um, and if I need to change then, I will. But I think the key, the thing that we're seeing really at the beginning of this year is that people want to have those trips to look forward to. In fact, the U.S. Travel Association, they came out and said that 97% of people that at least have a trip planned experience more joy and less stress in their lives. And I think that's what a lot of people are looking for right now. It's just something to look forward to. Oh, that's interesting. How about cross country? So the last time we talked, it was all about traveling in the car or renting an RV if you don't own one. This sounds like a blast to me. I've never done it, but it is something on my bucket list. Yeah, you know, 2020 was definitely the year of stepping outside your comfort zone and trying new things, whether it be RV travel or camping or glamping and hitting the road. I think we're still going to see that trend into 2021, people hitting the road and taking those road trips. They've done a lot of research on it. They'll probably continue to do some of those trips in 2021. I mean, you guys are so well situated for so many great road trips. We talked yeah. about it during the last segment I was on, but, you know, places like uh, Charlotte, a three-hour drive away where you can kind of experience some of the great culture. And, um, you know, that's such a booming destination city. They have new hotels like the um, Grand Bohemian right downtown that opened last year. So there, you're going to find that there's a lot of new hotels like that to really experience as we head into this new year. Um, so certainly I think it's still going to be continue to be the year of the road trip. I say that uh, living on the East Coast is like living in Europe because all the states that line the Atlantic, they're all so different from each other. And there's something unique to see within each of those. But I would recommend that people get into their RV sooner rather than later because gas prices are going up. So probably would be smart. Janine, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Safe travels, everyone. We're back after this.